लेट सॉल्व ए प्रॉब्लम फाइंडिंग द स्टडी स्टेट एरर एंड एरर कॉन्स्टेंट्स द गिवन प्रॉब्लम इज द स्टडी स्टेट एरर ऑफ ए यूनिटी फीडबैक सिस्टम विद क्लोज लुक ट्रांसफर फंक्शन सो द गिवन ट्रांसफर फंक्शन इज क्लोज लुक ट्रांसफर फंक्शन विच इज टेन बाय ए स्क्वायर प्लस टेन एस प्लस टेन एंड इज अप्लाई टू ए यूनिट रैम्प इनपुट सो इफ यू आर यूजिंग यूनिट रैम्प इनपुट only kv exists and to find the steady state error always we need the open loop transfer function g of s so but the given transfer function is closed loop transfer function so to find open loop transfer function for a given from a given closed loop transfer function you can use this formula Open loop transfer function is equals to closed loop transfer function by one minus closed loop transfer function. So always you can remember this formula. So always you can convert any closed loop transfer function to open loop transfer function using this form. So substitute now the given thing. So ten by a square plus ten s plus ten by one minus ten by a square plus ten s plus ten. So it can be written as ten by s into s plus ten. So you can see from here there is one pole at origin. So the given system is from this we can also infer it as type one system. So for a type one system, K V exists, and K V is equals to limit. S tends to zero, S into G of S. So it is open loop transfer function is nothing but G of S. So it is nothing but limit S tends to zero, S into ten by S into S plus ten. So which is ten by ten as equals to one. And steady state error E S S is equals to one by K B is equals to one. Suppose for the same problem, if you want to find the KP value, so what will happen? To find KP, KP is equals to limit S tends to zero G of S. So now substitute S tends to zero G of S is ten by S into S plus ten, so it will become infinity. That means error is equals to one by one plus KP is equals to one by one plus infinity. Is equal to zero. That means what we can infer from this for any type one system. So because because we already derived it as a type one system, for any type one system, only K V exists and K P is infinity. So steady state error will be equal to zero. And what about the K A? So now let's check that also. K A is equal to limit S tends to zero. S square into G of S. So limit S tends to zero. S square into ten by S into S plus ten, which will be equal to zero. So error is equals to E S S is equals to one by K A is equals to infinity. So for a type one system, error is due to step input is zero. And the error due to ramp input is some finite value because we got some finite value. And error due to parabolic input is infinite. So these are the derived conclusions from this problem. So I'm repeating again for a type one system, the error due to step input is zero, and the error due to ramp input is some finite value and the error due to parabolic input is infinity let's solve one more example so find the static error constant that means you have to find kp ka and kv and the corresponding ess and the steady state error also for the given transfer function so the given transfer function is Open loop transfer function because it is G of S. 
If any transfer function is denoted by g of s, it means that it is an open loop transfer function. So no need to convert again closed loop to open. Already the given transfer function is open loop transfer function. And given it is a unity feedback system and k is equals to 1. So now let's start the problem. First let's start with. First identify the type of a system. So it is a type 2 system. Type 2 system. So first find kp. Limit s tends to 0. S into g of s is equals to limit s tends to 0 s into 1 into s plus 1 by s square into s plus 2 into s plus 3 which is equals to infinity and the corresponding steady state error is equals to 1 by 1 plus kp is equals to 1 by 1 plus infinity is equals to 0 and next is kv limit s tends to 0 I'm sorry. So, while finding kp, it is just limit s tends to 0, z of s only. I'm really sorry. So, cut off this s. So, still you will get this infinity only. Next is kv, limit s tends to 0, s into z of s. Now, you can multiply with s. Limit s tends to 0, s into s plus 1 by s square into s plus 2 into s plus 3 which is again is equals to infinity only and corresponding steady state error is given by 1 by kv is equals to 1 by infinity is equals to 0. Next is acceleration error constant ka limit s tends to 0 s square into g of s is equals to limit s tends to 0 s square into s plus into s plus 1 by s square into s plus 2 into s plus 3 so s square s square gets cancelled it is 1 by 2 into 3 which is equals to 1 by 6 now you got a some finite value for k and corresponding error is equals to 1 by k a is equals to 6 so now what you can infer from this problem as it is a type 2 system, the error due to step input and the error due to ramp input both are equal to 0 and there exists only error due to parabolic input. So what you can infer from the last two problems as the type increases, the error gets decreases. So in the last problem, as it is a type 1 system, there exists an error due to ramp and there exists an infinity error due to parabolic input as well. But for the given, as the given system for the present problem is type 2 system, there exists only error due to parabolic input and the other errors are equal to 0. It is the quick summary about the error analysis. It is the type of inputs and it is the type of systems. And what is the error in these cases? If it is a step input, R of t will be 1. If it is a ramp input, R of t means input is t. If it is an acceleration input, R of t is equals to half t square. Right? So, for a step input and if it is a type 0 system, the error is 1 by 1 plus kp. And for a type 0 system, error is infinity for ramp input. And for a type 0 system, for an acceleration input that is nothing but parabolic input, the error is again infinity. Now if I increase the type of a system, now if I increase the type of the system to type 1, for a step input, error is 0 and for a ramp input, it is a finite value which is equal to 1 by kv and for an acceleration input, it is again infinity. And if still further I increase the type of the system to type 2, the error due to step input and the error due to the ramp input both are equal to 0 and the error is due to the acceleration input is equal to 1 by k. So this is the, if you remember this table it will be very useful to do those problems in any objective case or otherwise you can solve it and you can also get this.